Hello, grannies. Welcome to a video. Today we're talking about the blobfish. Some might describe this fish as the Peter Griffin fish. I also suspect that if you melted a wax figure of Fat Joe, it would look like this fish. Liberals might compare this fish to Donald Trump, but I think they make a good stuffed animal. Blobfish are kings of the ugliest animal contest and possibly one of the most viable creatures in the world. In reality, these fish aren't quite the nightmarish creatures they appear to be when they are viewed in their natural habitats. Because they are basically gelatin with little to no bone or muscle, when you remove them from the pressure of the deep sea, they lose all body shape and they squish down like a pancake. The famously floppy creatures you see in photos are subject to the sad reality of surface gravity, making them look much more ridiculous. It makes sense that outside of water, they have a perpetual frown. Blobfish have large heads with rounded bodies that taper towards the tail. In the depths of the ocean, they look more like an actual fish and are virtually unrecognizable. The gelatin-like skin and body is an adaptation that allows these creatures to maintain neutral buoyancy. Their paler pink colored skin also gives them a particularly eerie appearance. The blobfish is bladderless. <laughs> Having pockets of air in your body is all fine and dandy when you live near the surface, but at the depths of the ocean floor, a swim bladder would burst. Instead of using a swim bladder to maintain neutral buoyancy, blobfish have minimal bones and jelly-like tissues. This allows them to float in place with minimal effort. Having the ability to float in place without having to swim can be extremely beneficial if you are trying to conserve energy. In the deep sea, food is hard to come by. This means that if you have any hope of survival, you must conserve as much energy as possible. By floating along near the ocean floor with minimal effort, they can search for food without expending much energy. These fish feed on virtually anything edible, including a variety of carrion drifting down from the surface, crabs, sea urchins, and more. De delectable? Can I keep a blobfish as a pet? The answer is no. These fish have never been kept alive outside of their natural habitat. Because of their body composition, you would have to be able to control the pressure to replicate their environment to keep them alive. Very little is known about the normal behavior of a blobfish. Their natural habitat at the ocean floor makes it difficult to conduct research, mainly because they're aliens. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one, grannies. Goodbye.